everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel I obviously just showered um, but I'm gonna be doing a day in my life today because I have a pretty fun day planned right now I'm getting ready to go to the mall with my sister and her kids so yeah it should be a fun day to vlog say hi my rocker boy say hi got this new bed frame from Amazon and he still can't jump on it so because <laughs> he's so used to my lower bed frame where he can just like climb up but this one is a lot higher so he actually has to jump and he has no energy so he like just doesn't and he gives up so that's the plan but I'm still getting ready my sister Brittany is coming in a little bit to come over and first of all help me throw away my old bed frame I would sell it and stuff but it's literally broken like and it's so old and just so dirty so I don't think anyone would want this bed frame so we're just gonna throw it away and the dumpster is downstairs when she gets here because I can't do it myself Self. Yeah, that's the plan. So I need to finish getting ready, do my makeup and my hair. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very excited. All right, so I'm doing my makeup out here in the living room because the lighting is better and I want to sit down. Also, this tank is from my friend Maddie's Mad Gals clothing business, which is really cute. So yeah, I've actually never worn it before. I don't know why. I already did my skincare, sunscreen, and all of that. This is the e.l.f. Poreless putty primer favorite one they actually sent me this in a pr which is so exciting because i stopped using it for a while um because i honestly forgot about it and i just stopped using primer altogether and now i was so excited when they sent it to me because i was like oh my gosh i need to start using it again so i am for a foundation i'm using this it cosmetic cc cream this is the matte the oil free one and the matte one and i love that it has spf in it even though i already put on spf separately Look at Rocco behind me. He's just having a blast. Okay, real talk. I was watching my old videos last, or a couple nights ago, from last summer. My skin was dreamy. It was so clear after having broken out for a while. It cleared up so much last summer. And seriously, it was just a dream. And to look back on that, I was like, wow. Okay, if she can break out once and it can clear up that well, she can break out again and it can clear up again. So it really just gave me a lot of hope that my skin will be clear again once I figure out what the heck is wrong with it. I'm starting to think it's not like topical things that will fix it, but like rather fixing myself internally. I was watching a lot of videos on that and like fixing gut health and hormonal health and hormonal imbalance and stuff. And I'm like, wow, that just has to be it. So I need to figure out how how I can get all my hormones in balance and figure out what I'm lacking and figure out the right like supplements and vitamins to take and I feel like I'll be golden hopefully so that's my plan of action is to go see somebody who will help me heal myself from the inside out because none of this topical skincare or face washes or cream I don't think are actually gonna help me anymore Alexa Play Dan and Shay Radio. The station Dan and Shay on Amazon Music. I'm the reporter, baby, you can be the news. Cause you're the cigarette, and I'm a smoker. You raise a bed, cause you're the joker. I checked off, and you're a chuck. I can be the black boy, you can be the walk, ay. Even when the sky comes falling. This is what my hair looks like after I use the Revlon One Step um, blow drying brush. My hair is literally so crazy and so voluminous, um, but obviously it falls a little bit over time. But I just love how this thing styles hair because it like dries so perfectly and it's like an at home little blowout and it's just so nice and it makes my hair so soft i love it so much i'm pretty much ready now i'm just gonna like make my bed clean the apartment a little bit probably eat something and then my sister's gonna come like i said outfit of the day i already told you where this top is from very cute and these jeans are from abercrombie and fitch and necklace and louisa hoops princess polly and jennifer fisher bracelets are both orate ring is orate ring orate Orate, other ring, not sure. And yeah, that's my fit. Let's go clean up because it's a mess in here. So I take you home, but you said obey we got places to go. By the way, by yeah, if you didn't notice, well I already kinda told you 
my new bed frame. I'm so in love with it. I love that it's higher because my other bed was very low to the floor and this one just feels a lot better. I don't know. It was so cheap from Amazon and I got it during Prime Day, but it's still a really good price. I think it's like $200 or something. Yeah, I will link it below. It's from Amazon, like I said, so it literally came in two days and I'm obsessed with it. My other one, broken. This one, perfect. So, so nice. So it's just like a metal, black metal um, base. And then the top is this like wooden headboard with these slats. And it was very easy to put together. I did it all by myself. <laughs> So that says something. And then these pillowcases from Target, the Casaluna sage green pillowcases. Love the color so much. Rocco is a crazy boy. All right, she just texted me and said they just parked. So they're gonna come up here for a little bit and help me bring um, my old bed frame down to the trash. So I'm gonna set you up because I wanna show you how excited Rocco is when he sees the kids. It's the cutest thing ever. So I heard someone running. That's adorable. That's adorable. Hello. Okay. going to a couple stores that we know we want to go to, like Lululemon, Zara, La Cologne, Aritzia. <laughs> we'll see how far we can get. Yeah, we'll try to hit as many stores as possible. But I'll go to too. do you want me to show them? What? what do you want to say, Aiden? I want to go to a store that we want to Call go me to. Call me on this person. Aiden wants to show something. Oh my gosh, where's his torso? Oh gosh. Kind of close distance. We're in Veggie Grill now, which is like a vegan um, fast food place, kind of. I've had it one time. I ordered it while I was on Instagram Live once and got a tuna melt. It was really good. Their sweet potato fries, also really good. Oh my goodness. So good. This is the immunity bowl. Mac and cheese, fries, pudding. Pudding is the best. Mac and cheese, fries, cookie. Mac and cheese, fries, cookie. And the, what was this? Um, Far East Bowl. Far East. It looks so good. It does. Vegan, vegan chicken. Yeah. Tofu? Looks like tofu. Oh it looks like chicken. So good. How is it? So we got home a little while ago, but major RIP because Rocco was chewing on something and then I saw this in his mouth and I don't even know what the heck footage is on here It's also my biggest SD card, which is really sad Um, so I'll probably have to get a new one of these But just glad he didn't choke on it or anything, but he did ruin it Like I can't put it in anymore because it's completely bent and stuff So yeah, and he also knows that he did something wrong <laughs> Oh Rocco Huh yeah, you bad boy. But I am going to do a little workout now, at home workout. I'm actually canceling my other gym membership because it was on my mom's um, account and like she paid for it and everything. So we're canceling that and I'm gonna get a another gym membership soon. I need to talk to Keiko about it first because I think we're gonna do like a family plan one. So I'm just waiting for that. So until then, we're gonna work out at home. I literally have not worked out in, I don't even know how long, 
so long that's all i can say and i just know it'll be so good for my mental health and my health to start working out again and burning some calories and just getting some movement in so i need to start prioritizing it and i don't feel like working out at all right now don't even know what exactly i'm gonna do but i'm gonna get out all my weights and booty sprout and all of that to probably do some full body type of movement yeah let's Let's get to working out, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one by Juice and Toya. I've done it before. So it's just a 20 minute full body dumbbell workout. I've got my dumbbells right here from Amazon. And yeah, hopefully Rocco cooperates. Just finished my workout. I'm so dead. Like that was a long time coming. I haven't worked out in so long and I am dead. I mean, did it with a full face of makeup on, which was not a good idea, but didn't want to take it off. So now I'm sitting out here in the fresh air, cooling off, catching my breath a little bit. But that workout was so good. I'll actually link it below if you want to try it. It's just like a quick 20 minute workout. Very good for a quick sweat. Me Rocco, come here. I love you. Also, this is how he kept himself occupied was tearing up his chew toys. Now this one has got to go in the trash, Rocco. Your new bark box is coming soon though. It shipped a couple days ago. We gotta throw this one out or else there's gonna be fluff literally everywhere. But he's probably so sad because he loves this toy so much. Nope. No, my good boy, I have to throw it away. I have to throw it away. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna take Rocco on a quick little walk right now since my heart rate is still up and everything and Yeah, and he definitely wants to go outside. So we're gonna go on a quick stroll and then I'll be back You're so beautiful You'll never know How I can make you feel When you have got someone Okay, I just sat outside again and just cooled off. And I'm still listening to the podcast that I was listening to. It's the Drink More Water podcast, one of my favorites, honestly. They're just so good and easy to listen to, and I love them. It is 444. Those are my angel numbers. Um, And I'm going to go to Whole Foods and get some oat milk and... What else was I going to get? Oh, pasta noodles and whatever else I end up getting. Oh, I need new flowers also because my sunflowers are pretty much dead. I got them on a week that has been 100% percent cloudy so they're just not thriving and they already smell like dead flowers and it's just not a good not a good smell when i walk in the door so we're gonna go to whole foods and pick up some things all right just got back here's a little whole foods haul that no one asked for first of all oh my gosh i'm obsessed with orange roses i don't know why i don't know what it is but they are literally so beautiful they're they're perfect that's all that's all there is to it also, whenever I go to Whole Foods, I spend way too much money because everything, literally everything is so expensive and everything adds up so fast. So I spent more money than I thought I was going to, but it's okay. Also got some dairy-free um, cheese pizza because this one's really good. I really like it. Got what I went there for, which was some of the Bonza chickpea um, pasta noodles. So I got these Cavatappi ones, which are like the spiral. If I'm saying that wrong, I probably am. Sorry, don't be offended. And then linguine, which are just the long ones. I also wanted to get this. I also went there for this, basically, because I really wanted to try the Malk oat milk. I'm really trying to switch from soy milk to oat milk because I just feel like soy, like, I don't know. I've just heard some things about soy, and it's just getting in my head that it's just not the best for you. I know oat milk is really good for you because it's really simple, and, like, the ingredients in this, filtered water, organic gluten-free oats, and Himalayan salt. So, could this be bad for you? No. There's no, like, additives in that, and I know soy has a lot of additives, so I just really wanted to switch it up, so I'm gonna try that one because I heard that one was really good. These Cool House dairy-free ice creams are delicious. Delicious. This is the peanut butter fudge chip one. Haven't tried this one, but I love their ice cream so much. It literally tastes like normal ice cream. So good. Highly recommend. I saw this vegan Alfredo sauce. This is Alfredo arugula pesto. Doesn't this sound so 
so good. So for dinner tonight, I'm probably gonna make some pasta to make it easy, but I'm so excited. In here, cashew cream, basil, garlic, sea salt, sugar, non dairy lactic acid, just a bunch of things. Only one gram of added sugar. It's just really good looking pasta sauce, so I'm so pumped. And then I just got some more chicken because I really need to cook some chicken for the like nourish bowls that I make. So this is just organic, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Yeah, that's all I got. And this literally totaled up to like six. $60. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things that I got. So that just comes to show that Whole Foods is just so expensive and I can't keep shopping there all the time because it adds up so fast. Anyways, I'm going to put all the stuff away, um, switch out my flowers, throw those sunflowers away because they stink, and that's the plan. last one I wanted to show you a little life hack that my pastor taught me well taught her followers <laughs> on Instagram um, you see this rose it's very closed up and everything you take it obviously take off all the thorns on the bottom and then just rub it through your hands like this it really opens it up and gives it such a fluffy and beautiful look the best life hack I've probably ever learned it just makes your roses look so beautiful and there's just nothing prettier honestly um this one broke in the process so I have a little lonesome it's like a called wow I've only been out of high school for three years and not a boutonniere oh my gosh I can't think I forgot what it's called I'm ashamed anyways yeah look at this beautiful bouquet so pretty I'm gonna go put it in my living room on my coffee table so I can look at it oh it's so beautiful I'm obsessed okay I just got a couple of Amazon packages that I guess I can open for you guys okay first off I really don't know what's in here oh yeah okay I can't show you this <laughs> because that's for a future video. But this, I'm so excited for. They're shoe organizers to put in your closet, like acrylic little boxes. So very excited. I guess you have to build them because the box is only this small and there's 12 five by nine inch shoe boxes. So I guess we can open this baby up and build it if we need to. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I'd have to build them. Here's what comes inside the package. So let's open this up. That's one side. This is another side. Excuse me, you're blocking the people. And then we have these, which I guess, oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, very flimsy, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna make all the boxes right now and then go from there. Yeah, let's time lapse us and let's play some music. Alexa, play Dan and Shay radio. We're standing here and watching as it falls. When growing up, we used to. Okay, hello, my friends. It is 6 59, so it's time to start making dinner and prepping for the night. I'm definitely gonna start winding down because I'm just so tired from today. I feel like I did a lot today and I kind of did. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you, tell you that I'm gonna start cooking dinner soon, feed Rocco soon, and the, yeah, all the nighttime vibes in here now. I also want to take a quick second to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Felix Gray. For anyone who knows me, knows that I have very bad vision. I always need glasses. I wear contacts every single day, but at night and in the morning, I do wear my glasses, and these are the ones that I've been wearing recently. They are from Felix Gray. I've gotten so many questions. In all the videos that I've uploaded recently wearing them at night and in the morning, these are the black Volta frames from Felix Gray. I love them so much. They are so just simple and classy and just black little frames, and our eyes are not meant to be staring at a bunch of screens all day. Staring at screens all day really does mess up our internal balance and I have definitely noticed that recently. Being at home doing everything on a computer or a phone or an iPad affects my sleep, causes stress, blurry vision, headaches, all of the above. To help restore your balance, Felix Grey glasses actually filter 15 times more blue light than any other blue light glasses and the original optic lenses actually relieve most eye strain symptoms from daily screen time. The more advanced sleep glasses were especially designed for late night screen time to improve 
improve your sleep and it helps reduce a lot of serious daily eye strain. Felix Grey frames are super durable, lightweight, and so comfortable and they're actually hand finished from Italian acetate. So blue light glasses come standard starting at $95 and you can also add your prescription for $145 which I chose to do because I do need a prescription. My glasses specifically are blue light and prescription glasses. And if you don't love your glasses within the first 30 days of your purchase, you can make exchanges or returns with no hassle. So show your eyes some love with some glasses that they'll love. I love these so much. I just feel so like studious wearing them. I really do. <laughs> and you'll definitely see more of them tonight when it's time for bed. Yeah, thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. One thing I do not like about my apartment is the lighting in the kitchen and the dining room because it's so orange. So it's always something that I have to deal with. But I'm going to make some dinner now. I'm just going to make some of the bonza pasta that I got earlier along with the arugula alfredo pesto sauce that I got because it just sounds so good and yeah just make up a quick little pasta dinner something so easy I love making pasta for dinner because it is so fast and I really literally don't have to do anything and that's my type of my type of dinner guys where you don't have to do anything I have this little pot let's make some dinner there's no words got me search for the right adjective of fun now I can't sleep in this bed just all right, just made the dinner. It looks so good. I also put some pepper and smoked paprika on top. So I'm very excited to eat that. Rocco just ate. It's now 7.33, so I'm gonna go sit on the couch, eat some dinner, probably watch an episode of Manifest because I've been obsessed with it. All right, so I feel so good now. Dinner is made. Now all I have to do is eat it, relax so happy and yeah like i said i'm gonna watch an episode of manifest if you're watching it also let me know i also know it got canceled so i don't know how i feel about that but i'm still watching it because it's still on netflix so that's my deal let's try out this pasta and pasta sauce though because i'm very excited very good just as i expected so good okay I'm on episode 8, if you're wondering. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys after an episode. I just watched an episode, and then I got a DM from this girl named Morgan, who always DMs me. She's one of my followers, but I feel like we're like friends now, because we always talk in my DMs. Anyways, she messaged me and sent me a post from one of the cast members and, sh and said how they're not having the new season on Netflix, and so that makes me feel like I don't even know if I want to keep watching it because I'm gonna want to see an ending, you know? And if that ending is absolutely nowhere that I can watch it, then why would I be watching it now, you know? So I don't think I'm gonna keep watching it, which is sad. But I wasn't like super, super into it because I feel like I missed some parts and I was just like kind of confused overall. So anyways, I just ate some ice cream. This is the one I got at Whole Foods today. So good. This brand of dairy-free ice cream is literally my favorite ever. I just ate a third of this thing. Well, not a third. Kind of third. It's just so good. So I think I'm done with that for the night. I'm gonna finish watching this video. I'm watching Rachel Ratke's like get ready with me. And then I'm gonna go get I'm ready for the day. Get ready to get in bed. It's already 8 30 and I'm a grandma, so I get in bed pretty early. That's the plan. So I'm currently on the hunt for a dresser for my room. Um that's like the last thing that I'm buying, and then my apartment's finished. But I really want this one from Urban Outfitters. I've been looking at it for so long and it is expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. But it's on pre-order until October 19th, which is so long from now. I'm sure you all have seen this dresser. It's a very popular one, um, but I just think it's so cute and it would match my room perfectly. And if I could just find it like on a reselling app or something, life would be great. But I don't think that's going to happen. And I'm also not going to wait until October to get it. So I guess I got to switch things up and find another one. This is another one of my options. However, um, I don't think the coloring like of the wood would match as well. So I don't know what to do. But okay, I need to stop window shopping and go get ready for bed. So I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth, and get unready and all that. Also going to clean up old Rocco's toys because they're literally everywhere. I left.
I just brushed my teeth, washed my face, put my glasses on, took my contacts out, um, just got all ready for bed. It is 9.30 now, but I'm on the phone FaceTiming Kikoa, so I'm just gonna update you guys and talk to you once I'm laying in bed, getting ready for bed. Yeah, this is around the time that we finally get to talk after he's done with the full day of whatever he's doing. So I will talk to you guys after. Hi, vlog. What are you doing? I'm trying to f fix this light. Okay, so he's taking a shower and everything, so he's gonna call me back in a little bit. But he just sent me the pictures, like the professional pictures from his graduation, and they're so cute. Okay, like, also, they definitely edited out my sweat stains because I had major armpit sweat, and they definitely edited it out, so shout out to them for being real ones, where they posted it to the whole world to see. And this one's so cute. This one, look at him. In the middle and then these so cute and then look at him look at his smile are you kidding me he's so cute kind of forgot i was vlogging <laughs> it's 11 45 i'm gonna head to bed now probably just lay in bed watch some reels well that's what i've been doing for like 30 minutes but i'm gonna keep doing that until i get more tired and then go to sleep and my forehead's red because i just scratched myself but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe if you have not already i'll see you guys in my next video i love you so much see you next time bye guys